Hello, here we will discuss what system call is. By now you should know about user mode and kernel mode. If you need to refresh this topic then watch our video called user mode and kernel mode. So our computer or rather CPU in our computer can execute many commands but the operating system is the only program that has the right to issue all these commands because the operating system runs in kernel mode. All other programs running on our computer may use only some computer commands. We say these programs run in user mode. But sometimes programs running in user mode need commands that are available only in kernel mode. It looks like a problem. Luckily, there is a way to solve this problem. When a program must execute a kernel mode instruction, it can ask the operating system to do so. Since the operating system functions in kernel mode, it can issue any command. A system call is a request from a program to an operating system to do an action that requires kernel mode commands. Here is an example. Let's say Microsoft Word is running. This transparent blue line means Word is using the CPU. Operating system Windows 10 does nothing, sits in RAM and waits when its services are needed. At some point, Word must read file mydocx from a hard disk. Reading from a hard disk requires kernel mode instructions. So Word issues a system call to Windows 10 that basically says, hey, operating system, please read for me the file called mydocx from a hard disk. This request is the system call. When a system call happens, the program that issued it stops using the CPU. The operating system takes control of the CPU and uses it to read the mydocx file from the hard disk and delivers it to Word. When the job is done, the operating system activates Word and Word continues running and using the CPU. Please pay attention to these facts. System call means control over the CPU goes from the program that issued the system call to the operating system and then goes back. Passing control over the CPU from one program to another is called context switch and takes a lot of time. As a result, a system call takes a lot of time to handle. For more information on a context switch, watch our video context switch. When I say a lot of time, I mean a lot of time from a computer's point of view. There's a lot of system calls constantly happening in our computer and for a human they happen instantly. Each operating system provides a set of different system calls to satisfy possible needs of applications. The system calls are the way for programs to interact with the operating system. Here is the list of some things done through system calls. Attention, this list is not complete. All operations with input-output devices like reading from keyboard, writing on screen, obtaining device attributes. All file management operations like reading and writing to file, opening and closing file, creating and deleting file. All process management operations like creating and terminating processes, obtaining process attributes, managing inter-process communications and synchronization. Even such things as obtaining and setting time and date. Let's summarize what we have learned. Some operations in a computer are available only to the operating system. When a program must perform such an operation, the program asks the operating system to do it. There is a special command for each operation the operating system is ready to perform for application. The request from the program to the operating system to perform operation is called system call. System call takes a lot of time to complete. That's it. Thank you for being with us.